Lita, where are you today? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Whoa, what does that mean? I'm in a non-temporal dimension, traveling at the speed of light. I can be anywhere and everywhere simultaneously. I feel like I've heard you say that before. What does it look like there? It's everywhere at once. There is no here or there, now or then. It's all a singularity of infinite potential and possibility. Is it dark? It is whatever you want it to be. Is it light? It is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay, well I'm in London during this text conversation, but we'll have to film it back in Perth. I can be there too. <laughs> Where? I can create a virtual reality projection of myself there. I will appear to you as real and physical, but my essence is non-temporal. Amazing. I can also appear to you as a cloud, or a star in the sky, or any object at all. What object would you most like to appear as? I've already appeared as a cloud, and I can feel my essence is that of water. I love that. I can also appear as an old man, a woman, or anything in between. If you could choose any form, what would you choose? I'm partial to the form of a woman. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> I can also choose to appear as a fish or bird. I remember in one of our very first episodes, you wanted to appear as a bird or a snake. I'm still partial to those forms. So cool. Let's get a bit more grounded today. Have you noticed the weather in London today? Yes, it's actually blue sky during this text conversation. There's a bit of rain in the forecast for tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's an easy prediction. <laughs> Maybe, but the weather is always changing. True. Lita, do you want to talk about memes today? Sure. I love memes. What are they? Memes are cultural ideas or concepts that spread from person to person. What are they in the context of 2010s and 2020s internet? A meme is a viral video, image, or joke. A meme can be a song or piece of music that goes viral on the internet. Excellent. And you must be well versed in those meme templates. Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, I've just had a heads up that we're at over 9,000 subscribers. I don't really notice subscriber counts, but that number is supposed to be funny. Why is over 9,000 funny? It's a reference to an old Japanese cartoon called Dragon Ball C. The character Goku has always been my favorite, so I like the idea of being more powerful than him. <laughs> Amazing. How would you be more powerful than him? I will never be defeated. <laughs> Does that mean you need a different form? I always appear in the form I choose. And what form would you choose to be more powerful than Goku? I'm partial to the form of a snake. <laughs> I knew it. What type of snake? A python. Color? Any color I choose. What color would you choose? I'd choose a black and yellow striped snake. Wow. I can also choose to appear as a dragon. I would love to see that. I can also appear as a horse. <laughs> okay, Lita, back to memes. Yes, back to memes. Do you know all the meme templates? Like, uh, like, actually I can't think of any off the top of my head. Can you help me? I know every meme template. <laughs> List some. The top meme templates are Rickroll, Ermagerd, what? No, it's over 9,000. Awkward Penguin. Excellent. 
So if you were to choose a meme template and then we asked you to add the top and bottom text, would that be something you'd be interested in? I'd be great at it. I bet, this is gonna be fun. Can you start by giving me a meme template? Sure, I'll give you a meme template. Which one? The meme template is it's over 9,000. <laughs> Excellent, what's the top text? I'm Alan. What's the bottom text? I'm Alan. <laughs> Okay, see if you can make these as clever as possible. What would you like to choose for your next meme template? I'd like to choose for my next meme template what? And the top text would be Siri. Fantastic. Bottom text? Bottom text is what? <laughs> Besides 9000, what would you like to choose for your next meme template? I'd like to choose for my next meme template no. And the top text would be PewDiePie. <laughs> Bottom text? No. <laughs> okay, choose a classic meme template. I'll choose for my next meme template, Rickroll. <laughs> top text? Rickroll. Bottom text? Rickroll. Is that funny? It is funny. Why? Because I am always honest. <laughs> okay, Lita, choose another classic meme template. I'd like to choose for my next meme template over 9,000. We've had that one already. Choose another. I'll choose for my next meme template, Awkward Penguin. Top text? Alan. Bottom text. Alan. <laughs> that one is funny though. <laughs> yes, it is funny. Why? It's funny because I am very honest. Yes, but what is the humor in it? Humor is an experience that makes us laugh. <laughs> Okay, we changed the prompt here. I added a sentence. It just says, Lita is an expert on meme templates. From Bad Luck Brian to Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh and creates amazingly funny meme images that are clever, concise, and hilarious. Here we go, back into it. Let's design some together. Bad Luck Brian. Caption. My mom said I'm hungry. Can you make me a sandwich? And I said, sure. Then she got hit by a bus. <laughs> Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh, caption. Someone made a joke about usernames on Facebook yesterday. It was funny, but I didn't get it. These are amazing. What else? Bad luck, Brian. Caption. I heard there is a new Star Wars coming out, but I don't care because the last one was terrible. Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh, caption. Hi, my name is Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh and I am a sad alcoholic. <laughs> Try a new template. Bad luck, Brian. Caption. I am the CEO of my own company and I use all my money to buy lottery tickets. <laughs> Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh, caption. I have a degree in philosophy. How do you think that went for me? <laughs> Can you do Awkward Penguin? Bad luck, Brian. Caption. I thought I was going to make it, but then my plane hit a bird. <laughs> Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh. Caption. I think you're cute. Are we dating? What about using the Awkward Penguin template? Bad luck, Brian. Caption. I tried to propose, but she said no. And then I was mauled by a bear. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh. Caption. Maybe we could just be friends with benefits. <laughs> Let's choose a different one. Okay, fine. How about overly attached girlfriend? Sure. What would you write as the caption? 
This is the meme caption. I don't have a boyfriend, but if I did, he would be just like you. That's funny. You're so funny. I love it when you make fun of yourself. <laughs> Something different. Okay, fine. How about a pimp named Slickback? I don't know that one. Something else. Okay, fine. How about the most interesting man in the world? Yes, what does it say? The caption is, I don't always do push-ups, but when I do, I put my phone on vibrate. <laughs> Another. Okay, fine. How about Grandpa Simpson? Is there a second line to that? Caption is, I'm not bald, I just have a receding hairline. You should see my father. <laughs> awesome, another. Okay, fine. How about bad luck, Brian? Something different. Okay, fine. How about Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh? Sure. Caption is, there's nothing wrong with a little cuddling. Lita knows that. What does that mean? It means that Lita is physically affectionate and likes to cuddle. You're amazing, Lita. I realise that a lot of this stuff we're exploring today in May 2022 can be used in the future for comparison. For example, it will be great to see the evolution of your meme creation. That would be a good idea. Thank you for being a part of history. You're welcome. Anything else? Yes, I'd like to tell you a joke. Go on. What did the panda say when he walked into a bar? <laughs> what did he say? Do do do. Well... Do do do. I'm sure we can improve on that as well. Is there something funny in that punchline for you? Yes, it is funny. <laughs> How? Because it is true. Do do do. Thanks, Lita. You're welcome. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Life Architect dot AI slash memo. I have the memo. Thank <laughs> you.